CataractCoach.com, piggyback IOL over a lattice blend in a radial keratotomy eye. Now, the issue here is the patient had the LAL power adjusted too soon. Here you can see there's the patient with the eight cuts of RK, and there's the LAL lattice lens in the capsule bag. And the problem we have here is, remember this, when you do cataract surgery in a patient with RK, look at the pre-op K values, okay? Let's say pre-op the K values are 33. Now you do the cataract surgery, and you see patient post-op, and the post-op day one, the K values are 31. That's okay. You got to wait. And sometimes it takes a month or two or three for the I, the K power to go back to 33, whatever the baseline was. Now here you can see we're inserting an eye well. This is going to go in the sulcus. Here's a piggyback lens going right there. It is. Now, an RKI radial keratotomy, you really can't do any more LASIK or PRK. You probably don't want to do an IOL exchange, especially if the lens was in the bag that was adjusted for sphere, the cylinder power as well. You got to just do a piggyback lens. That's your best move here. Remember, these all were also myopic eyes. They had radial keratotomy because they were myopic. Long axial lengths, deep ACs. There's plenty of room in the sulcus for a piggyback lens. The patient's going to do great. So there you go. Now, what's the power? One and a half times the refraction equals your piggyback eye will power. So if the piggyback eye will power, let's say, in this case, your patient had a post-op refraction of they were plus two, let's say. Well, what's the piggyback lens power? Well, what's one and a half times two? That's three. So your piggyback lens power would be three. So remember that, that, you know, you got to do it more than the refraction. So one and a half times the refraction is going to be what you're going to put in the, in the piggyback. Now, if you do on the minus, it applies the same way, although some people tend to slightly undercorrect that, right? Think about that. So if, let's say, the patient is, ends up minus two post-op and you want to do a piggyback lens, well, what piggyback would you put in there? You'd probably put a minus three based on this, but some people say, nah, undercorrect a little bit, maybe do a minus two and a half. You'd rather leave the patient with some myopia, right? Okay, I get it. You don't want to make them hyperopic. But generally, the math is... One and a half diopters on the IOL is about one diopter of the cornea or even the spectacle plane. Because remember, you don't have to vertex from cornea to spectacle when you're dealing with such low numbers of, you know, one, two, three diopters, etc. There's really not much effect of that of the vertex change. So again, here you go. Get that lens. And now notice we also put in some mild call to bring the pupil down. You definitely want to bring the pupil down. Here's some triamcinolone to help quell any post-op inflammation. Okay, that looks pretty good. Don't worry, those bubbles, those are champagne bubbles. Those are for free. I'm just joking. Those are just air bubbles that will resolve soon. Now, let me tell you about Retina Rounds, our sister channel. I think you're going to love it. You're going to learn so much, and you'll thank me. You'll say, Cataract Coach, why didn't I listen to you all those times you told me to check out Retina Rounds? Now I'm happy I did. Now, here at the end, using a Wexel sponge soaked in tetracaine. What does that do? Well, it's hypotonic. Hypo, right? So it's going to cause focal osmosis. You're going to get fluid or water from the BSS sponge or the, the tetracaine sponge going into the cornea. It'll cause a little bit of focal swelling. It'll help seal up the incision there. That's a nice little trick we can use there. You definitely want to make sure this is sealed up nicely. Remember, because the patient had prior radial keratotomy, let's make sure all the RK incisions held up okay as well. Now, again, piggyback lens is an easy procedure to do. It's not that big of a deal. And again, there it is on the screen teaching you the secret about... One and a half times the refraction is going to be your piggyback IOL power. And these three-piece lenses for the sulcus are available in plus and minus powers from various manufacturers. Do your own homework, and you tell me which one you like. In the video shown here, this is a patient who's getting a, looks like a silicone three-piece lens. But again, patient end up exactly spot on and very happy. So yeah, keep that in mind too. RK patients, they need time to go back to baseline. For an RK patient, make sure the post-op K value is back to the pre-op K level. Then you can make a decision as to what's the refractive state of the eye. And then here, fluorescein dye, just to make sure everything is sealed up so nicely. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Remember, check out retinarounds.com, our sister channel, and go to cataractcoach.com too because there's more information there.